All right, here we are. The beginning of the trail. We are going up there. I think it's like 4,000 foot elevation, 6.8 miles. Oh, it's about seven in the morning. I ate a delicious sausage McMuffin. That was that was pure energy food, right there. I didn't want to make anything. I didn't want any cereal. So I got my bag loaded here. Got all my essential gear to make a day of it. I'm a knife in case I need to hunt any food. Find me some wild mushrooms. I live off of that. It's nature's candy. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be pretty tough, especially getting near the top. Well, it's going to be awesome. Oh, let's do it. Right behind me, the first waterfall. In a beautiful 20 minutes in waterfall. And there's the top part of it. Or maybe that's the top. We're making it, one step at a time. That's how we roll around here. I got a heavy bag, I'm not gonna lie. My tripod's heavy, my camera's heavy. But you know what, that's how you get the good shots. Take the good camera, I take the better tripod. You want the good pictures, right? Nice, clear, crisp images? Yeah, me too. <sighs> Onward. Through the thicket. That'd be nice if it were paved all the way like this, but it's not. They just do that to trick you. They'd be like, oh, people, oh, sweet, this is paved all the way. This would be a piece of cake. And then, like, 100 feet from now, it'll just be loose, slippery rocks and sand and dirt. I could see them doing that. Ah, uh, beautiful. Little oasis. That probably feels really good. Because I'm really hot and sweaty right now. That probably feels nice. I can see why people climb this before the sun comes up. But that wasn't my plan. I had a hard enough time getting up this morning. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I think I got five hours of sleep. That's all you need. 4,000 foot elevation climb. 14 miles round trip. Yeah, that's good. Sausage McMuffin for breakfast. That's all the energy anyone needs. One thing I can tell you right now is don't eat a sausage McMuffin before hiking. I'm out like this. It doesn't sit too well. Don't carry so much gear. Oh, the bag I think is killing me the most. I got no waist strap, just shoulders. So that's, that's sucking the life out of me. I think I'm losing. Let me check my pulse. It's at least like 250. It's gotta be, and I'm losing like a liter a, a minute of water. I think I'm gonna run out of water soon. I'm gonna have to start sucking the, the ground by these these water lilies right here. Yeah, I watch a lot of Bear grills. I know a lot of things about surviving. I'll be good, I'll be good. And so we gotta switch back some more. Pretty sure we go up that. There, I could be wrong. I don't know if we go around it. This way, there's some snow still up there, as you can see. I gotta go eat it. Probably super yummy. Give me diarrhea too. I don't want to eat it then. Diarrhea is no fun. Not sure if you could tell. I thought I'd just show you how disgustingly sweaty I am. It's like soaked under here. See that? That's yuck. Just thought I'd just thought I'd let you see that. If I need to, I could re-drink my sweat. Like Bear Grylls drinks his urine. I could just wring my shirt out and drink it to survive. See? Survival skills right there. Bam. 
Here we go. On the other side of the mountain. Transverse the gap. To a pretty waterfall. It looks so inviting. I just want to go jump in it. And rest, relax in the cool, cool water. Yeah. Maybe I'll put my head in it. That'd be cool. Put my head in the waterfall. I think I might just do that. There we go. Nice. Oh, I got too wet. Then that's more weight I have to carry. Pretty sweet. We're making it. You can see the trail way over there. And it goes down the mountain. You can see more of it over there. We gotta go up this. But we're getting there. A little out of time. Two hours in. Ah. I don't know what that is way over there. But it's some city. Just so I don't leave anything out. Here's another waterfall. I already went and stuck my head in down there. It was very refreshing. Higher and higher we go. There's the lake. I forget the name of that lake. But that's on the road on the way to Park City. On the other side of that mountain over there is Jordan L. Reservoir. We're getting there. We're going to go through that little split, right there. Woohoo! Yay! And two hours and 15 minutes in. Not too bad. I don't really know how close I am to the top. I guess I could pull on my little map if I wanted to. But I don't. Because there's a chance it could be depressing. I could think I'm further up than I really am. And that would be like, oh, lame. Totally lame. I still got like three fourths to go. I've only got a fourth. I wouldn't want that. Look, hikers. Whoa. Right there. I remember when I was down there. That's a long way. So here we are on the back side of the peak. Still a serious hike to go. It's kind of cool. It's like, a, it's like a giant bowl on this side. All these rocks fall into the center here. But there's this little meadow. Just a big like half bowl. It's 
pretty cool. This would be a cool spot to camp. Ah, yes. The peak. So close. Yet so, so, so very far. So I'm noticing, if I fill you in on this, my shoes here, I don't know if you could tell, there are some old Nike hiking shoes. I got these when I was, I think, 18, when I was in Scouts, and we hiked the Sierras. Now, the sad part about these shoes is the soles kind of came off through the years. So, I didn't have any money to get new ones, so I glued them back on with some I don't even know the glue. It wasn't like designed for shoes, I don't think, but it should have done the job. Well, unfortunately, on my left shoe here, you can see my front sole is coming off. And I'm hoping the back sole will be strong enough to keep it all together. I'm trying not to stick my toe on anything because that, that makes it worse. It would really suck if I got to the top of the mountain and my left sole came off. Oh, that would suck. I only have one piece of, like, twine, which I may have to use as a last resort to hold the nose up. So I stopped catching it and tearing the glue off. I'm breathing kind of hard, kind of tired. That's pretty, look at that. Runoff leads to uh, like a little lake, a little pond over there. Giant surrounding mountains. This probably looks awesome when it's covered in snow. This would be the perfect sledding area right on these hills. Oh. <sighs> Press forward. Low bridge. All right, there's my fixed job. I was getting concerned. I was gonna rip my soul off. Oh man, I hope that doesn't shred right off. I had to cut my shoelace. Looped it through my loop here to keep it from sliding off. Most pathetic thing I've ever seen. But I'm not going back. I made it this far. There's no way I'm turning around going home because of my stupid soul. Oh, wear good shoes. Lame. So there's my Jimmy rig. Taking a break here. Fixing my shoe next to this cool little creek. Ah, oh, pretty hike. Tough. Tough when you got shoes with soles coming off. Heavy backpacks, and you're skinny out of shape. That's me, all right. Oh, my heart's like, what are you doing to me? Oh no! Sorry, Mr. Hart. You're not gonna win today. Uh, I would like to drink this water, though. There's the peak. There's the aluminum shed. Only about another thousand feet to go. And I'm down here. That's where I am. Right here. In case you didn't see me. It's me walking. Very pretty streams, by the way. I think I've mentioned that before. Very pretty. Just cascading through the runoff in the ice. Down into the valley. Very pretty. I guess some of the prettiest things are hardest to get to. I think that's what I've heard before. I mean, if you could just drive here, Quite, wouldn't quite be worth it, I guess. You know, you wouldn't have sweated a gallon of water and ripped up your shoe. And 
and that stuff. Yay, I like waterfalls. Very pretty. Let's go climb that. Next time. One mountain at a time. Perfect. It's freezing cold. Ah, nice. Fix my hair. Got to look good. I'm refreshed. Let's do it. Get to that peak. I made it to a sweet resting spot. Little lake right up here, a glacier runoff. Water's a, a blue color, which is kind of cool. Gonna set up camp. I'm not, well, I'm not gonna set up camp. I'm gonna eat lunch. Have a snack here. Relax for a moment, fix up my shoe. A little loop came off. And uh, there is over here, you can't see it, but up here, this is an alternate route to come down the mountain. Cause there's the peak there. So you walk down here and then you can slide down the ice over there and come around over here, which I might try doing because uh, it looks like it saves a lot of effort. Uh, sliding down on the ice. That should be pretty fun. Look what I found. I found where I'm going to be sleeping if I can't make it home. Kind of cool. Let's see. Tippinoga Shelter, erected 1959. Utah County Forest Service, Provo City, Provo Chamber of Commerce. University has got a fireplace and everything. That's cool. Who brought up the cement? <laughs> oh, what a pain. Very cool though. I know I'm panning kind of quick. Pretty cool indeed. Lunch is over. There's more of the east. Behind me. And then we are going that way. I believe we'll be walking right there. There's a trail that way, and then it cuts back that way, and then you walk the ridge. That's what it looks like. I see people. So, onward, Patsy. They're tired. Very tired, indeed. That's what happens when you don't exercise. I was riding the bike for a little bit. Then I stopped. 
Now I'm paying for it. Probably be doing pretty decent. Get a cup on the bicycle. Oh well. I am here. Pressing forward. One man. See, there's a spot where you slide. Right there. Thinking I may want to go that way. We'll see how hard up the way is I'm going. That just seems to save you a lot of effort going down. What's that dot in the middle? That's my shadow. Right there. Squish, 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 squish. So these are where the trails meet. You can see the other trail down there. It zigzags this way. There's a few hikers down there. This is coming from more the the north trail. I don't know the name of it, but this is where they end up meeting. Oh, I'm hearing, a, I'm hearing an avalanche. A bunch of rocks falling. That's where we go. Over there. Pretty sweet. Very pretty. It's a very pretty spot here. Can't quite capture it all. A little flip. Alright, so now I'm in a serious bind. The shoe I thought was the safe shoe. Let's just take a look here has totally ripped open. What the crap is that? Got this little piece hanging on and it's totally, totally hanging open. See if you can even see. I mean, seriously. Ugh. Now I gotta try to tie that with my other lace, like that one. Oh man, this is a day to remember, that's for sure. Oh man, oh, good thing it's padded underneath. Oh, that's crazy, crazy indeed. All right, let me cut my other shoelace. Through the snow I go again, do, do. Going on the only trail I've ever known. I didn't think this was a trail, but I saw the trail over there and it looked like it went down and then back up. And I'm like, I don't think so. I'm just going up. I'm not going down 500 feet so I can go back up. I don't think I'm going to ruin any ecosystem here. Walking across the snow that never melts, ever. It's gonna save me some time and effort. It's a masterful plan. It's very hard to tell. I don't know if you can see them. There's a bunch of goat right in front of me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, a dozen or so. Let's see how close I can get before I scare them off. Not that I want to scare them off, of course, but I just got a summit to reach before the end of the day, hopefully. And they are in my way. Hopefully they don't attack me. They got horns. I don't have any horns. I have fists and a head, a hard head. I don't think it'll win though against their Horns. See them? Lots of them. All right, there. Just hanging out. Hey, Steve. Hey, goats. How's it going? Oh, we're good. We're just billy goating it. Hanging out here on the cold snow. Get kind of hot on those rocks. Yeah. Know what you're talking about. 
Just hanging here with the babies, shedding our wool, having a good old time. What you doing? Oh, I'm just, I'm just climbing the mountain. Out of shape, shoes are falling apart. Backpack's too heavy. Carrying like a 10 pound tripod. Other than that, I'm good. You guys good? Yeah, we're good. Just gonna stare at you, then look back. Stare at you again, then look back. Cause you guys got your family here hanging out. Yeah, we do. It's a family reunion. We're still kind of hanging out on the snow. Keeping cool. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, goats, I get to go climb this mountain right here. Here we go. Getting pretty close to the goat here. You're right on the trail. I'm not sure if he's gonna move or not. Probably shouldn't approach a wild animal. I don't care. I'm just going. Yeah, you're in my way, dude. You gonna move? Come on. Yeah, that's right. You best walk away. You didn't want any of this. You didn't want any of this stuff. Yeah. You guys see that? Totally just stared down that goat. I owned him. Yeah, I just pooned you. Your family down there is laughing at you. I don't want to mess with this right now. What? Who wants some more? Any other animals, huh? Any other goats? Squirrels? You clickety-clack beetle? Shh. I'll take you all on. I don't care. If I'm oxygen starved. I got adrenaline. I'll totally do it. All right, another look back. trail over there crossed all the ice down through there and beyond that's the little house and the lake and beyond that is down the other steep part very nice very pretty Okay, lie to me. How close is it? How close what? How close is it? The peak? Yeah. That's the peak up there. So, it took us from the saddle there about 45 minutes to get to the top. Okay. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. And you're only about 600 feet below it once you hit this saddle. Well, good. So. That's good. Hopefully my shoes will make it that far. Oh, they will. Look how we did those. Yeah, poor Fair fellas. Wheels. Look at that, MacGyver. I was halfway up and I said, you know what, I'm not going back down. A good man, never say die. We'll tie up and we'll make it. There you go. We'll make it yet. I like it. It's like God invented you lately. Exactly. Right now, they the work. question I got is, are you retiring them after this trip? Yes. They'd already, see the soles had already fallen off once. I glued them back on because I didn't have money to buy any new ones. Never say die. So they lasted a while longer and I think this trip just killed them off. We'll retire them after this. Put them in a glass case. Give them a metal and a glass case. Yeah, exactly. Have a good day. You too. Uh, 45 minutes. Easy. There's the peak. Right there. Ah, nice. Is there a line to me or not? It sounded good. You guys catch that? They call me Bear Grylls. Yeah, that's right. That's how I roll. Survivor. Just use some shoelaces. Yeah, they're impressed. I could tell. They probably wanted my autograph, but I know a pen. Except I probably do have a pen in my backpack because that's just how much extra stuff I feel like carrying. Probably have a notepad too. Yeah. Awesome. 
There's where we're going. Right up through these steep rocks. It's a steep drop down. There we have it. The last push to the peak in the iron shack of lightning death. Ah, so close. God, it seems so Don't fall off the edge. If you fall off the edge, I'm pretty sure you will die. And sadly, not right away. You'll splatter off the rocks a few times. Then you'll probably die. So here's the edge, looking where I came from. And if you can see way, way down there, the people, they're right there. That is a long, way down. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Right around to the top, to the very end. There it is. Made it. I made it to the lightning shack. All right, to the tippity top. Oh. Soul just fell off right at the very top. Woo! That's all I could muster. That's all I got in me. Here's our view from the top. All the way down to oh what is that way over there? Nephi? Eureka, that's over that direction. Eureka's towards those mountains. Oh, there's West Mountain right there. I don't know the name of that mountain, but I do want to go up that one. Orem, Spanish Fork, sorry, American Fork. That's the point of the mountain. There's the copper mines. Draper and Jordan and all the way up to the Great Salt Lake. Man, you can see a lot from up here. It's pretty awesome. I'm now going to eat and drink and relax. I'm here at the top and I didn't explain it yet, but I'm trying to find... There's this picture. It's hard to see there. Two years old, 33 years old, and I'm trying to find the exact location, hoping it is that direction of where this picture was taken. And then I'm going to try and take a picture next to it. The trick is 
where exactly is the rock and all the rocks. The challenge. Oh man, it's been fun up here. About 314. Probably head back. I don't know if I necessarily have to yet, but no one up here. It's only me. This is at the top. Big shack. I was hoping, at least there used to be, inside here, which is signed by everybody, a book, a signature book, which unfortunately through the ages people steal it. Maybe they didn't steal it. Maybe Wynn got it and it ripped out and I don't know. But unfortunately there's there's nothing in here but some trash because people don't pick up after themselves and, and lots and lots of writing. Terry, will you marry me? State champs, Todd loves Rachel. Oh, maybe I should sign it. I don't really have a, a pen though. I think I only have a ballpoint pen. That won't hold that won't stand the test of time. Ballpoint pen. You need a, a Sharpie. Permanent marker. So I'm gonna go down this way. That's the glacier side. Well, not that side, but there's a trail that goes around there and then it wraps over to these glaciers and you walk and slide down the glaciers. And it speeds up your travel time and it's a lot easier than trying to descend down this very, very steep side over here very steep. I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but it is. Uh, my picture here, unfortunately I searched this whole peak multiple times and I could not find the exact spot where this picture was. It may, for all intents and purposes, be right where the shack is. Although it doesn't quite seem like it because there's a lot of mountain on the backside. So I don't know. It may not, it may not be the peak. It may be the peak. There's lots of places it could be. So I'm just going to have to kind of fabricate something, take some pictures, and we'll see what I can do in, in Photoshop. We have more of a challenge for me. As you know, uh, my sole came off on this foot right there. So I've got kind of half a sole and while I was taking pictures sure enough there it is there's my complete other rubber tread sole mount size 13 right there in the middle so this shoe has just padding nothing else and I'm not sure what exactly to do I could take the shoelace off this side chances are this this whole side's gonna rip off too. Oh, so if my feet aren't bloody as a pole by the time we get down to my car, it'll be good. It'll be a good hike. Yeah. It's okay. It'd be like the pioneers, right? Oh, very pretty up here. You guys should come do this. Probably 100, 200 miles you can see in all directions. Let me fix my shoe. There you have it. One bonafide tie job. Yeah, that's right. Totally bear grilled that one. Let's uh, see how she does. This one, well, it's got no support. So, uh, let's go. And I'm gonna climb down there. I don't wanna go back, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna climb down this. Get a good 
foothold. There we go. Now we're swinging out. Look at this. Got my hand. Got my feet. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going down. Now we're making progress. Now wedge myself. Yeah, that's right. The wedge technique right now. Get lower. Get another foothold. Oh, there's a good one. Underneath here. Do a little like roof technique. There's a little one. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, look at that sweet ledge I got right there. Bam. In your face, mountain. I just pooned you. Yeah, that's right. Just down that. With torn up shoes with soles that are tied on. What do you think of that? Man, I own this mountain. Maybe I should climb down this next. That's too steep. Let's go. That would be the best sledding hill ever. Look at that angle. Smooth as can be. All the way down. That was pretty awesome looking. Let me see if it's on itself. There was enough snow on it and had a break. On my sled, I would probably try it. Totally. I'd be one of those X Factor game guys. Stop. All right, I've made it to the sledding area. I need to get over there. That seems like the best. Kind of straight down right there. Looks like that's my only option. Man, this is saving me a ton of time. This is amazing. Thank goodness, deliciously snow. Here we go. Still a pretty good ways down to my sledding area. Oh. Shoes don't fail me now. Woo. Bear Grylls would call this a dangerous avalanche area because these are very loose rocks. And I'm inclined to agree with him. That's why I'm going at an angle. Woo! Because that's going to make it better. <laughs> Here's the feet work. Here's the feet work. Over the rock. Woo! Woo! Straight over my landing site. Should probably zigzag. Probably serpentine. Serpentine. Good serpentine. Whoa! To reduce the amount of avalanche damage. Whoa! 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 I'm here. I made it. Oh, I made it. I'm not sure how that sliding apparatus works. If this is a feet sliding or a butt sliding. I don't really have. I don't think I'll slide on my butt. I should probably try that, huh? Oh! I'm already on my butt! I'm on my butt and I'm sliding! I'm sliding on my butt! This is a first person view! I did not plan for my backpack to be to hide me, for all these rocks to be between my legs. That could cause some children reproductive problems. Just saying. If you already don't know about that, talk to your parents. Let's slide some more. Oh, I got an idea. Let's get past the rocks. Oh, my butt's gonna be wet. Okay, okay. Safe, safe sliding, safe sliding. Get back the rocks, past the rocks. There's 
wrapped right here. Okay. Apparently my bag on the back's working okay, so we're gonna stick. Whoa! Hello! I see people at the bottom. They must have been playing. Okay. On my butt again. What's oh, wet? What's in my back pocket? Oh, my map. My map's gonna get wet. Hopefully nothing else gets wet. All right. Oh. On my butt again. First person view. Yeah! Oh man! This saves so much time! Ow! Ow! First the tripod whacked me in the head and then I hit a rock with my butt. I'm on a big pack of ice, if you can't tell. Oh, more rocks. Ow! Son of a biznitch! That's not cursing, by the way. I don't know who made that word up, but someone did. Okay. Okay. Next. Next. Whoa. It's like a slalom. Look at this course. Ow, 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 ow. I may have to get up soon. I may have to get up soon. I may have to get up soon. Rocks on my butt. My derriere. Ow. Oh. oh, wait. No, don't fall down again. Don't fall down. Oh, my butt's really cold. What's it look like? Can you see? Oh, it's probably icy. Shake your booty. This one's for you, Emma. Shake your booty. That, my friends, is what I am talking about. I was up there. It took me like an hour to climb that high normally. I mean, five minutes? How long have I been filming? Let me look here. Five minutes. Awesome. Pure awesomeness. This spot looks okay. I think I'm going to risk it again. Hope I don't break my coccyx. I think I was even aiming at my face right there. Okay. Are you warm, butt? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah! Ow! Son of a... That hurt. That hurt really bad. That hurt really bad. Ow! 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 I feel the rocks. First person. Because first person's awesome. Oh! Fall him. Yeah, I have a headache now. And we stop. Sweet. Sweet, delicious snow. Oh, ow. You see that tripod back there? Yeah, that hurt. Ow. I had a concussion. How many fingers do you see? Two. Okay, I'm good. See the peak? It's right there. I was just up there 32 minutes ago. That is great timing. My friends, I bet it'd be awesome to climb this with crampons. In the winter, you just descend right up that. It's probably pretty sweet. Okay, listen now that I'm more in the canyon. That sounds better. That was like five echoes. That's awesome. Okay, back, sliding. I have a hole in my shoe now, right there. Snow is getting in, the leather's separating. But I shall persist. There's a naked man getting ready to jump into the water. He did it! He jumped in! That's freaking crazy. That's like ice cold. That's like ice cold. Dude, he's nuts. Didn't even act the least bit surprised. That's Emerald Lake, by the way. With a man skinny dipping. Here's a lake again, in case you missed it. This is Emerald Lake. Very clear, very pretty. And there's a naked man hiding over there that I had to walk around because he's lounging 
completely back naked. I don't get it. I guess he wanted to hike all this way up. This one naked in a lake. He picked a good day. How many people? I said those people over there. I wonder what they think. I probably would be very refreshing. If I brought my swim trunks, I'm not going naked. Something will bite me. Get a urethra worm. Those are only in Brazil. So, sad news. I have run out of water. Yes, I did. The only drink I have is some muscle milk. Not really water, but running my head under the river seemed to help. Can't drink that water. Thought I had more water. Apparently I didn't. Looks like I'll have to bring more next time in lieu of my tripod. Yes in lieu of my tripod. Oh, so hopefully I don't die of exhaustion, of dehydration. I've never had that problem before and I'm not the best of water drinkers. So let's hope this isn't a first as we head over the rim down into the valley to get my car. Well, it's official. I've lost the sole to my right shoe. It fell off somewhere in the bushes or something. I didn't see where it went. So now I am soulless one, soulless tie. Ah, uh, that was a joke. So this couple earlier near, I don't know, halfway, the young couple, they come up and I, they said, how far? And I said, honestly? Because I was surprised that there was still someone hiking up. And it was 5 o'clock at the time. So, I said, oh, you're probably about halfway there. I mean, you, you got a long ways to go. And I said, well, when did you leave? And they said, at 12. And I thought, okay. And I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was earlier than it was. So anyways, I said, okay, it took me five and a half hours and I was going slow. So if you get there at 5.30 and hang out for a little bit, come back down, you should be just fine to make it home. And then I started running down the mountain. And after I went down a few switchbacks, I looked at the time on my watch and it said it was five. I'm like, what? You guys say you left at 12 and it's 5 and you're only this far and I'm like, son of a gun. I'm thinking, crap, I just sent them to the top of the mountain and they're going to die. Because they have like one bag between them. He's probably taking his girlfriend on a date. I'm like, great, they're going to get stuck in the dark and the goats are going to eat them. And the squirrels and the big fat beaver that I saw. So, I'm like, great, I got to go catch them. So I start running up the mountain. I'm already freaking exhausted. Down is easy, up. Oh, well, we all saw what was there. And so I tried yelling, they didn't get it. And we caught this other group who I'd been talking with for a little while, and I said, you gotta go stop them. And I was just dying, I was panting crazy. And so he ran up around the corner and, and kind of told them, and he came back and he said, well, they thought about it for a minute, and then I think he walked away. He didn't he didn't find out what the heck they're doing. So they've been warned. So I hope we don't hear on the news tomorrow a young couple missing hiking Tipanogas Mountain. I guess another thing is another guy was going up and he said he's only going to the lake, which is totally doable. And I said, when you see a young couple, you tell them to come back. They don't get to go to the top. And he said, okay, so. Okay, that was pretty crazy. Nearly killed myself. My heart was like beating 300 beats a second. I know, humanly not possible, but I did it. <sighs> just running down stuff this tiring. Oh, I got water. My friends I was just talking to you about, they got me some water. They had a filter, which I need to get. Pumped me some fresh cold water, so I'm good on water. <sighs> this is about how far down we are. <sighs> We still gotta walk all the way over there and over there and 
down there and down there and uh, making good time. It's 210. That's where we came down from. The serious hike. What squirrel? Seriously. I will kick you down the mountain. I will do that. I threatened him and he didn't know I was serious or not. We have this guy while well, I'm saying things. We had a scout leader. Whenever we go on the Sierras, he would, he would, he would, how to say it? Um, he always would say how far we've gotten. So we'd be hiking and, and he, he didn't have GPS at that time. And, and this was 12 years ago. At least I don't think GPS was around or 12 to 15 years ago when I was in scouts. And anyways, we'd be hiking and he'd say, we've gone 1.2 miles or one and a half miles. And the way he would measure it, super accurate by the way, is he would count his footsteps. Because those are evenly spaced when you're hiking up a mountain and over rocks and limbs and trees. I always thought it was so weird and it kind of bugged us because it was so inaccurate and he'd say it and we're all tired anyways. It just make us upset. But he always did it. I'm not sure how he thought it was accurate, but he did. <sighs> By that logic, the steps I've counted, which is roughly 3,512, 13, 14, 15, 16, times three feet is not really that far. It's only 9,000, which is only about two miles. So see, it's completely wrong, off in every way. Because this is a seven mile one way trip, 14 round trip, and I've technically only gone two. So there you have it. Sweet, deliciously nonsense. Okay, and here we go. Finally, three and a half hours to get down, two hours shorter than getting up. And I'm so happy to see my car. Oh, car, I have missed you. You will take me home and bring me water and let me relax. Ah, so happy, Corolla. So my shoes made it, barely. Here's what they look like. The uh, padding was starting to separate. I had a hole in the front, right there. It was. It gets snow in it and I get snow toys, so I'm sure my socks are black and disgusting. And fortunately, this one stayed the whole time. Look at that, just held on by nothing but uh, laces. Those are some top laces. Ah, yes, I have made it. Over a mile elevation, over seven miles of hiking. One way, 14 both ways. And it kicked my butt. Ah yes, I'm gonna go home, get some water, and sit for a little while. Just 